Alright, so here we are. We're ready to go. Uh, one thing first though. Uh, still the Scepter of Awe. Why do we want the Scepter of Awe? Um, avoid detection on your way to the temple. Talk to Dinas to get the Scepter and escape to the bridge to the northeast. Um, one thing first. Let's read the Riverside Province outpost marker. The Arlen River originates from the farthest south of the Footprint Lakes. Oh, the Footprint Lakes, sorry. The river flows west into the jungle, then turns decidedly south at the Henge of Denravi. Its swift currents and shallow inlets would make it an ideal trading river, but for the fact that there are a few settlements on its banks. Because of some evil. Okay. Right, so let's get going. See, it's the middle of the night. This is, if you will, the closest to you'll ever get to a stealth mission on Guild Wars. Um, the main goal is to avoid being seen by all these white mantle justicars. I heard Confessor Dorian himself is coming to inspect the temple, says one of them. I guess they're talking to each other. That's just a rumour. Why would Dorian come here? I don't know. Maybe he wants to see the Scepter of Awe. Hmm. You idiot. He's already seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Are you going to stop talking? Yeah, alright. Yeah, as I was saying, you've pretty much the main goal of this mission is to avoid detection. Uh, the bonus for this mission is quite a simple one. It's not like a hidden objective or anything. You see these guard towers here. Um, pretty much the bonus, we're avoiding the guard towers. If you get too close to the guard towers, they see you and send loads of troops after you. But uh, for the bonus... Um, you need to destroy all of the guard towers that you come across so if you're doing the bonus you turn a really short mission into a really really long one uh, but if you're not then you can just enjoy um, smooth sailing there's two ways to go about it you can either go through here near the uh, Juster cars and stuff am I going the wrong way? yeah I am there's Saeedra up there wait am I going the wrong way? or do I need to speak to her? Yeah, there's two ways you can do it. You can either go up through the White Mantle directly, or you can try and hide to the south through the swamps. But it turns out there's a very, very, very... You must be careful in these parts. The White Mantle see everything from the tops of their watchtowers. You let me through this gate, don't, don't you? Ooh. Look at all the Juster cars. She's not going to let me through the gate. I thought she let me through the gate, but clearly not. I think that's for a part of the bonus, anyway. Um, yeah, or you can come to the south down here through the swamps, but there's loads of undead here, and very powerful undead as well. We caught a glimpse of some smoke phantoms when we were um, up in that huge swamp near the Temple of the Aegis before. There's lots of them in this mission, and also we caught a glimpse of bone dragons. We saw a really big powerful one called Rotscale, and there were some other smaller ones next to him, if you remember, uh, through this cave. Speak of the undead, there they are. Some hounds and a skeleton. Yeah, uh, and there's also lots of bone dragons and stuff in the swamp on this mission, which is the first time in the main quest that you start to find them. In fact, I believe it's the only time in the main quest you find them, and even then they're optional. Sort of in one of the missions. I can't remember ever coming across them in any. Oh yeah, yeah, and maybe the next. Mi yes, in the next mission you have to fight one, but uh, other than that, you're pretty safe. Yeah, look at all these Chester cars. Ah, uh, they're Mesmer's Shatter Enchantments. That means I don't have Mending anymore. Okay. You see that light up there? That light is the Temple of the Unseen. That one up there, sorry. Didn't mean to swing the camera around. I just needed to be sure that the enemies weren't there. Oh, they're speaking again. Do you think these undead are here because of the Scepter? I would say so, since last time that's what they were looking for. Oh, they're not actually having a conversation. Oh, what else could it be? Yes, they are having a conversation. How am I going to get past all of those? Look at them all. There's even a boss there as well. <clears throat> well, here goes nothing. I don't know, maybe they're just hungry. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm just going to go straight ahead. Uh, the white mantle can uh, pin me down, apparently. Or maybe it was just that boss that could do it. Right, so there's the entrance to the temple. Loads of forces around here. They defend this place so carefully. If they don't take the Chosen here, then I have to wonder what they do use it for. Maybe it is a centre of learning, it's just that the Chosen um, uh, don't get to enjoy it. So, here we are. Again, the white mantle emblem on the left of the door. Okay, we got a new a new goal. Talk to Dinas to get the scepter. Where is Dinas? Oh, he's over there. No, that's Jonas. Where's Dinas? There's a lever over there. Ah, Dinas is up on the inside. Okay. See, uh, a while ago, you might not remember, but I, we were at the D'Alessio Seaboard, and I, I pointed out some like purple-looking things that were on the floor. This colour. All the structures that are like this are related to this kind of colour, like those purple things I pointed out before. Well, I don't know what colour to call this, really. Anyway, these... It's very shiny. These are all relics of their gods. Now, I don't know what's behind this door, exactly. You never get to go through there. But I guess that's just the inside of the um, temple, but the light's coming from it. But whenever we see those, that's a sign that their gods have been around. There we go. Cousin. My friends, it is good to see you again. Good to see you too. <laughs> I didn't think when we met off the D'Alessio seaboard that I would be giving you the scepter of ore. Come, you must not linger here. The zealots will be back soon. I will show you the quickest escape route. He's given us that scepter twice now. To the east is a bridge that will take you over the Ulan River to safety. Stay off the beaten path, and whatever you do, avoid the watchtowers. Many men have died for this. Guard it with your life. Will do. Oh god, we've been seen. I know that they're evil, but... The scepter of ore! It's been stolen! The thieves are heading east, toward the Ulan River. They won't get far. There are two watchtowers between here and the river. If they try to go past, they will be caught. If they stop to ponder a way around, we will catch them. No one who steals from the White Mantle lives long enough to enjoy the spoils. Yeah, I know I said those guys are evil, but I love their armor. It's just so cool. Um, yeah. And they think they can catch me, but even though I'm holding the scepter, which will slow me down, they're never going to catch me. Let's go. Go east to a bridge that will take you over the Ullen River to safety. Stay off the beaten path, and whatever you do, avoid the watchtowers. Okay. Well, uh, that's like two-thirds of the mission already done. Like I said, this is quite a... Uh, a sh Ooh, more, more undead. I don't like the undead. I really don't like the undead. I will survive. Shit. Okay, where are we going? Straight ahead. That I will survive skill is really helpful against the undead. The Mesmers used to really hurt me with this deep wound and uh, some of their hexes. One of them is called Fragility, it means whenever I get a new condition on me uh, I take loads of damage. And I was really struggling with that before, but when I have I I will survive, it's not a problem at all. Oh no, more undead, leave me alone! Okay, well, that's one of the watchtowers we've just passed. There's some hill giants there. Now, before I did this mission, I read on the wiki that at the end you're meant to kill a boss who's guarding the bridge that we need to get over. But, um, the wiki said that you're meant to kill him, but apparently you can just run to the left of him and then it will complete the mission anyway. 
So I'm going to do that. We can just pretend I killed him. Wow, there's the other tower. Look at them all. Look at them. See, you can imagine killing all of these things. Yeah, you see that? Sirius the Unflatting? Or Cirrus the Unflatting? Oh, he's a warrior as well. Do you know what? If nobody else runs, I think I will try and kill him. He's huge. Look how tall he is. If Charlie can kill him, then I will capture his skill. Uh, whatever it may be. I'll pause it while he's trying to. Okay, well, it's taken him a long time. Um, you'll see now, he's only got a little sliver of health left. But uh, it's going to take a while for it to go down. It took him a while to do it, but uh, the guy just hasn't started fighting back. He's like the troll that guards the bridge. That's kind of what I'm thinking of him as being like. Um, he just hasn't fought back, so Charlie's going to kick his ass. Charlie, who we're going to have to say goodbye to soon. But there you go. I have plans for his replacement. I've sorted it all out, so kind of looking forward to it to be honest with you uh... come on just die already I'm gonna try and capture his skill or whatever he he's using one skill at least called watch yourself see uh... that gives him a little bit more armor against the uh... for a little while come on just die but he can't use that very often so it's not saving him at all no, no one else is coming anywhere near us so there we go let's capture his skill what's he got He's got, I will avenge you. Ah, that's that skill that, um, plus six health regeneration for every, uh, dead ally. And it, sorry, um, and you attack faster and it lasts ten seconds longer for every single person who's around who's dead. Um, and a sword skill called Galrath Slash. And Galrath is a guy, you might remember a long time ago outside Lion's Arch, I was talking about him. There's a long quest chain that goes all the way through Kryta to places I haven't even shown you yet. Um... I might not ever show you them. Uh, and that's named after that warrior as a part of that quest. I'm going to get I Will Avenge You. We've got the other two. Okay. So, let's go across the bridge. Come on. Ooh. There we go. Did our mission complete. Nice and easy. Ah, oh, sweet. Charlie's just stood there fighting. Oh no, we left Charlie across the bridge. <laughs> Look, they're not even trying to fight back at him. Yeah, go. Kill him. Yeah, you guys can all be pissed off. You'll never catch us. Idiots. We swept in in the middle of the night and took the scepter. Alright, we're crossing the next bridge. Hello, Avinia. And Saija. Oh, the scepter of ore. The time for retribution against our oppressors has finally arrived. I thought the point of stealing the scepter was to keep it from the mantle. How are we going to use it? We can't, but Vizier Kilbron can. Who's that? I negotiated a treaty with the former advisor to the King of Or. Ah. In exchange for the scepter, the good Vizier has agreed to aid us in our fight against the mantle. Vizier Kilbron? What can one man do for us that we can't do for ourselves? The Vizier is a very powerful mage. He can show us the path that will lead to our victory. Come now, the sun will be rising soon, and we must prepare for our journey to meet the Vizier. What news of Marcus? Marcus? Why would we have news of him? He didn't meet you outside the temple? No, we knew of no such plan. Hmm, maybe he'll catch up with us at the docks. Let's go. <coughs> Even the Mantle are smart enough to find their way across that river. We'd best not be here when they do. I wonder why Marcus didn't turn up then. What's going on there? There we go. Mission complete. Nice little shot of their moon there. The Tyrian moon.